Hi, Brenda, are you there? I'm here. Well, I think we're gonna, this whole thing's gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's been, I gotta tell you something, it's, it's really been a pleasure getting to, you know, meet you already and I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. I see Dan is here. Um, people are just, uh, coming and I think maybe we can wait, a, uh, another, wow, everybody's getting here on time. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Um, I'll tell you, I, I, I really have a, a lot of, uh, a lot of information that I, I, I want to share with everybody. And, uh, uh, there's something, there's something in here for everybody. I, I recorded it. So, uh, everybody doesn't have to worry about taking notes. Um, you know, people will be able to go back and, and review it. Um, oh, great. yeah. And, and I'll get you a copy of the, of, of the recording. And, uh, I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited for everybody because I know it was a big eye opener for Dan and, uh, you know, it's typically a, a big eye opener for everybody that, that looks at it. And I'm, I'm excited for everybody. Me too. Um, Me too. let's see. What, um, I so you, you're going to let me know when we go live? Well, we're live. I mean, we're, we're, yeah, we're live and, and, uh, um, uh, fact, why not, I tell you what we should probably do because, uh, why don't we just get started and, uh, um, you know, and the people that get here late, you know, they can watch the recording and see what they missed. So, okay. So, uh, so I can't see anything in the room. I can just introduce you then? Yeah. Yeah. You can just introduce me, let everybody know how we met or, you know, what, and, or, you know, and, and, uh, and then sure. we'll, we'll open up everybody's eyes. Okay. All right. Hi team. This is Brenda. I hope I hope uh, you know you'll reach out to me if you have any questions later or if you ever need any help. Um, I met Max Steingart through one of my team members, Dan Batista, and he has been using Max's methods for the last couple of weeks and has been really successful. So after talking with Dan, I got excited, had a couple of conversations with Max, and I am thinking. Um, lessons privately from Max and he you know has offered this to the team. So I know you all got the email information, that's probably how you're here, but I just in case let everybody know a little bit uh, you know about Max. Um, Max Sagard is affectionately called the father of social network marketing by millions of people. He's the world's leading authority on social networks when it comes to network marketing and building relationships online. I'm really excited about this. Um, Max has been teaching a simple three-step social networking formula for over 20 years, so he's got a lot to say. Um, he's also helped hundreds of thousands of network marketers become successful in their business using social networks like Facebook, LinkedIn, MySpace, Twitter, YouTube, you know, you name it, he's done it. Um, Max is going to tonight show team how to tap into the endless pool of prospects. Um, picked out by the best people in Facebook and on LinkedIn, how to pick out the best people in Facebook, LinkedIn, make a connection, and qualify and close by just asking them a few simple questions without being rejected. His methods can take uh, can have you talking to more people and making more sales in less than an hour a day. So I totally appreciate you guys giving up and out listen to all of this, but. It's really, I mean, you know, like Max said, you can, you can get a customer tonight. So listen, ask questions when it's appropriate, and um, go team Eiffel. Well, uh, you know, I noticed Dan is here, and this is totally unexpected. Dan, I just, I unmuted you. If you, if, uh, if, uh, you have any uh, advice to, uh, to give to everybody, uh, uh, well, he's... Uh, uh, Dan, are you there? Cause I, I, this was totally unexpected, but I didn't realize he was going to be here. No problem, Max. I'm here. Oh, terrific. Uh, have any advice for these folks after you, you know, you've been through it? Yes, I have. And uh, I was uh, one of those people, uh, 
Uh, Max, you agree with this because you identified me as a type A behavior. And uh, I got excited about this business. I have a passion for it for my own health, uh, number one. But number two, uh, it is, uh, I think, the wave of the future, social media, and a way to ensure your financial future without playing the corporate game, uh, which I did for many, many years. I also do an executive search business on the side as well. Uh, but this is uh, this is my passion. I am uh, I hate to admit it, but I hate to use the word addicted. But I'm addicted to your Max method <laughs> because it works so well. And uh, I told Brenda about it, as she mentioned. And uh, I just would encourage everybody to take a close look at this. Uh, and Brenda's downline, of which I'm a part of, obviously. But uh, if you really want to build this business, uh, this is the way to do it. Max is truly a phenomenon. Uh, he uh, walked me through the process uh, a few weeks back and I got excited about it and very honestly it's working for me and it's working very well. Well thanks for that uh, Dan. Let's jump into this because folks I have a lot of things that uh, I, I want to share and uh, you know uh, tonight we're going to show you how to live the laptop lifestyle of a top earner uh, in business on Facebook and, and LinkedIn. And this is a typically a presentation I give to people who are uh, looking for business opportunity, okay? And uh, this is a very, very unique and, and special audience because uh, for one thing, uh, most of you did not get involved with your company for the business opportunity. You got involved with it because you're passionate about the products and that's probably one of the core key ingredients of, of being successful in network marketing. So if you're passionate about something and you can go out and tell enough people about it, you can generate some passive uh, residual income. And I have to say that, uh, you know, I, I, I've worked with tens of thousands of people and Dan, uh, you know, I, I sometimes I felt like I should be paying you <laughs> to tell you the truth. He's a uh, uh, he's made a living in recruiting in the corporate side. So he really got it. He really understood how the whole process works. Uh, what he just had to control was his urge to just jam the business opportunity down people's throats. So remember through this entire process, you're in a listening business and, and people will tell you more about themselves in the virtual world. You know more about the other person uh, reading his profile than you would ever glean, uh, than you'd ever learn about somebody if you lived next door to him for five years. So when it comes to network marketing, this is the fast and easy way to build your business. And you can do it in less than an hour a day, but no one says you have to stop after an hour and you're going to find very quickly as you jump into this, it's hard to stop after an hour. Now LinkedIn, has become the social network of choice of successful network marketers in every company. Now, for those of you that aren't on LinkedIn, I'm gonna spend a little bit more time talking to you about LinkedIn, give you a little bit of its history. And if you're not on LinkedIn, you need to be on LinkedIn. Uh, you know, we're gonna show you why LinkedIn is now better than Facebook to build your business. And of course, for some of you, you've never thought of Facebook as a mechanism for building your business. So this is gonna be a big eye opener for you too. Now you're about to see what everyone is calling the next evolution of social media lead generation for network marketing professionals. If you wanna build a business, you're gonna be professional. It's gonna revolutionize how you cost effectively generate quality leads and nothing beats free. Connect with ideal prospects, build personal relationships instantly and successfully build a global and a profitable home-based business. Now, in Network Marketing 101, they've been teaching it for years, the first thing that everybody is asked to do, if you're looking at it as a business opportunity, is to make a list of your friends, go out and talk to your friends. Well, today, all your friends are on Facebook. Uh, or maybe you've been in a network marketing company or two and you don't have any friends. Or you don't want to go to your friends until you've built you know, a sizable business. That's okay. What I'm about to show you 
whatever reason that you want to build a business, this is going to blow you away. Because if you want a lead generation methodology that anyone can do, that's affordable, that's fun and easy, that's global, and that really works, this is it. There's a lot of hype out there on the internet, but what I'm going to be sharing with you is, whoops, <clears throat> what I'm going to be sharing with you is free. Leads are free. And anytime anybody talks to you about a lead generation system or, or advertising or SEO, run. Uh, and it works fast. And that's probably the most exciting part about it. Now, over the last 10 years, because of the internet, network marketing has gone through a radical transformation. And not necessarily in a good way either. Nowadays, everyone's got a system. Lead capture pages, autoresponders, contact managers, online presentations, etc. But for most people, it's, it's not working. But what used to work in building a network marketing business no longer does. So if you're not going to go to your friend, if you're not going to talk to your warm market, then you face three challenges. Number one, how can I cost effectively generate high quality leads of qualified prospects who are truly interested in a business? Two, how can I quickly connect with them through social media? And three, how can I build a personal relationship with them so they get involved with my network marketing business? Well, the fastest growing top earners in network marketing today, living the laptop lifestyle. Imagine being able to work when you want from wherever you want. These people will tell you they owe their success to social networks like Facebook and LinkedIn. And now LinkedIn is starting to take more prominence. They have teams of people enrolling their best new customers and reps in less than an hour a day. And their new recruits are doing the same thing within a few days of joining their business, but no one's willing to tell you how they're doing it unless you're on their team. And as you understand the process, you're going to understand why. So I'm going to show you how they're doing it and how you can do it too, so you can begin living a laptop lifestyle too. I want you to think mobile because 80% of what you're going to be asked to do you're already doing, and it's all on your cell phone. I want you to think texting, because texting is the way you talk to people today, and I want you to think big, because you can build your business anywhere in the world Longevity does business. You want a business in Australia? You want a business in the UK? You want to go to Hawaii two or three times a year? Start a business over there. I'm going to show you exactly, step by step, how to instantly connect with perfect prospects, communicate with them at will, and they're all going to be total strangers, and close a sale in less than an hour a day. Now, 21 years ago, I broke the code to a social network called America Online, and I used their live chatting features to develop a simple formula that helped me add thousands of like-minded people to a network marketing business in 18 months. The term social network wasn't used back then, but everyone engaged in live chatting. Today, live chatting is also called texting, tweeting, or private messaging, and it's one of Facebook's most popular features. And it has become one of LinkedIn's most popular features, too. The number of social networks has increased dramatically over the years, and so has the number of people on them. Social networks have come and gone. At its peak, AOL had 36 million users. Today, Facebook has 2 billion users, LinkedIn has 500 million professionals, and the formula works on these social networks better than it ever did before. Since I introduced the formula, I've trained and shared it with hundreds of thousands of network marketers who in turn have trained and influenced millions of people that they work with. The formula has worked on every social network that followed AOL. It will work on every social network that comes along in the future. So whatever happens, whatever great social network comes about in the next two or three or five years, what you're about to learn works on all of them. Live chat is exactly like talking with someone. It produces instant results and an immediate sale when you're talking to the right people. About five years ago, I started working with Rhonda Collier. She's in another company. And she went from 150 k a year to 750 all through live chat. Today, she's a million dollar earner in her business. Net part time network marketers have used this formula and live chatting to go full time in their business. And your, your next customer, distributor, or team builder is available to talk to you on Facebook or LinkedIn right now. 
Many of the prospecting and recruiting strategies I invented with the formula years ago are still being successfully used on Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter today. You know, back in 2005, I published my last, my last best-selling book, Make the Internet Your Warm Market. They just started Facebook in 2004. There were only two lines in the book. Two lines. The book was out of date a year after it was printed. Your social network today is your digital warm market. Now, when you follow the formula exactly, you can be talking with someone about your business and closing a sale today. Network marketers love the formula because it can be instantly duplicated by everyone you bring into your business. And the people who have consistently applied the formula have risen to the top of their companies and they've earned millions of dollars. Some top earners have gone on to create and market their own versions of the formula. And when I said the formula has worked on every social networking site, I'm also including the online dating sites too. People are using the formula to make love connections. I personally know hundreds of networkers who've used it successfully. In fact, I used the formula to meet my wife Debbie on Match.com 12 years ago. But that's a story I'll share with you another time. Here's the bottom line. If the formula worked for me and the hundreds of thousands of people I've trained, it's going to work for you too. It's really that simple. But you don't have to take my word for it. Okay, we gave you two examples uh, today. <clears throat> but I'm proud of the success people have had with the formula. And today, with you, I am taking things to a whole new level. I'm going to show you my biggest prospecting and recruiting secret. <clears throat> uh, uh, Dan, when you see it, because you haven't even seen it yet, <clears throat> I just uh, you know, kind of picked this up you know, over the weekend. So you all are getting this first. The thing is that live chatting with other Facebook and LinkedIn users is not only the simplest way to sell something, it's the fastest. Chatting or texting is easy. But having success, access to 2 billion people around the world means nothing if you're not talking to the right people. So remember, through this entire process, you're not trying to make a sale when you talk to people. You're trying to determine if there's an opportunity to make a sale. Okay? Now, the formula that's behind the success of every network marketing company, four C's equal big bucks. Create a page, connect with people, communicate with them, close them. Four C's. Now, when you create your page, some of you, if you don't have a page on LinkedIn, where are you going to start from scratch? If you don't have a page on Facebook, and I can't believe there isn't a person on here that doesn't have a Facebook page, but let's assume you don't. You start from scratch, fill in the blanks. If you already have a page, then you use your existing profile. And then what you do simply is you fill in every section, tell your story, not the company story. Project the real you. Now, a great profile is going to help you stand out from the crowd, attract your target audience, and become irresistible to your ideal prospect. And we're not going to have to wait for people to come to us. I'm going to show you how you can pat proactively connect with people that you know in advance want to talk to you, you know in advance they could use what you're marketing and selling. And, and, and they know a lot of people who would also appreciate the Longevity product line. Now, everybody's product page on a social network is different than everybody else's. As you're filling in those blanks, as you're filling in those boxes, it's, I call it your social network DNA. Everybody is different. So, when you go online and you start looking for people to talk to, okay, everybody gets different search results. On the left, I did a search for women who like Tony Robbins and live in Chatsworth, California, because I was doing a coaching session with Fred Holmes, who's a top earner in his company. So, I went out earlier just to see what I would get, and there were a couple of hundred women that live in Chatsworth that like Tony Robbins. Now, 30 minutes later, I log on and I get, I'm now only, I'm logged into his account and I got totally different results. There was not one person on his search results that was on mine. And you'll notice that on mine, we had add a friend, on his it was connect. So people, these social networks are changing all the time. And because I work with so many people at this level, I see things you know, as they happen. Some of these things become permanent fixtures of the network and some of them they you know they just tried it out in an area so now once you create your page now it's all about connecting with people now there are people that you 
there's three types of people. The people that you know, your warm market, connect with the friends of your friends, and connect with strangers that you'd like to know. Now, once you're connected, it's all about communication. And there are lots of ways to communicate with people. Texting is one of them. A like, a share, a comment, it's all part of communication. And during the process, you identify perfect prospects, you qualify them by asking a few casual questions, you identify their needs, discover their problems, it all comes with asking the right questions. And I put together a scripts book that contains just literally every, all the questions, all the scripts that you need to know to literally, literally discover in advance without ever talking about your business, does the person on the other end need what you have? And once you've identified them, then you, you close them. Talk to five to 10 people every day. Use your company tools online to present the business. Now, make a sale every day and then take your business to the next level by helping your new recruits duplicate the process. See, the answers that you get to questions will fill in the missing pieces of your prospect's profile and personal story. Their answers reveal if they're really a serious candidate for your business. Now, the best part about all of this is it's not technical or complicated. All you need is a free profile page on Facebook, on LinkedIn, free service to connect with perfect prospects for your business in seconds and begin conversations. Now, if you want to be successful in network marketing, the top earners in the business will tell you, you got to talk to people. You must talk to five people about your business every day on Facebook and LinkedIn. You can do it in less than an hour. Well, today, you want to be wildly successful, then you must talk to 10 people about your business every day. And you can do that in less than an hour because everybody that you could possibly want to talk to is mobile. Mobile applications uh, make it easy for you to talk with perfect prospects where you are, where they are, whenever you want. If you're on the East Coast of the United States, it's 9.20 in the evening. In Sydney, Australia, it's 9.30 in the morning. Live chatting is the fastest way to talk to more people Increase sales, eliminate rejection, and with so many choices of people to talk to, there are no excuses why you can't be talking with perfect prospects every day. When you enroll, when you use simple attraction marketing principles, you can be making sales immediately. Now, uh, Al here, his first week, you know, made three sales. I'm not showing these because I'm trying to impress you. I'm showing you these because I'm trying to impress upon you what you can be doing. Terry, sharp guy, seven recruits in four days. He could not believe it. Now, the people you want to talk to fall into one of three categories. They're the people you're connected to, your Facebook friends or your LinkedIn connections that you actually know. And that's probably a small percentage of the people that you're connected to. The other group are the people you're connected to, but you don't know them at all. And then there's everyone else. And there are people you want to talk to in each group. People you want to avoid in each group, and the sooner you learn how to tell the difference, the better. You learn how to tell the difference by asking questions. Now, Facebook, it's the world's largest social networking site. You got access to 2 billion users. Big announcement last month. 93% of them are mobile. LinkedIn, they're the world's largest professional networking site. 500 million registered professionals in over 200 countries. 58% of them are mobile. Now, LinkedIn, in the last 120 days, has added 38 Facebook features. LinkedIn added live chat two years ago, but it's only been in the last 90 days that Microsoft has just taken the, the, the breaks off of their chatting features because Microsoft bought LinkedIn last year. They took it over this year. LinkedIn is adding new features like who looked at your profile, and they have added notifications. If you're familiar with the notifications on Facebook, the notifications just kind of tell you that something, somebody did something. You're being notified. And notifications encourage live chat. Now, if you look at the top social networks out there, they don't even mention LinkedIn in this report. Facebook, 2 billion. YouTube, 1.5 billion. Instagram, 700 million. Twitter, 328 million. WhatsApp, 1.2 billion. 
Snapchat, 255 million. These are all social networks. Facebook Messenger, 1.2. That's right. This is a social network. WeChat, 889 million. And you got LinkedIn right over here at 500 million. But let's take Facebook. Let's, let's eliminate or delete the kids. Let's delete the teenagers. Let's delete the parents just keeping track of the children. Delete the reluctant socializers, the people that want, don't want to know you. Delete the missing in action socializers. They abandoned their pages years ago. Delete the 88 billion, million bogus profiles that CNN says are on Facebook. Delete the people looking for dates, love, and soulmates. And delete the people who are nuts. Plain out nuts. You can tell them who they are too. That leaves you with roughly a billion people on Facebook. A billion people on Facebook, 500 million on LinkedIn, and over the next two years, they're gonna grow to a billion people. So while LinkedIn today is only 25% of your Facebook audience, in the next year or two, they are gonna be equal in size. Now there are three things that make a social network great for prospecting and recruiting. Number one, the profiles of users contain information that helps you identify a good prospect in advance of contacting them. Imagine being able to walk into a room filled with 100 people and know in advance the 10 people in the room who would buy your products. How about being able to walk into that room and pick out the 10 people who are not only looking, well, they're looking for business opportunity. They, they're into health and wellness. They're surrounded by people who are into health and wellness. So it's natural that they'd want to be into something in health and wellness. They would love your products. But they're also going to run around and tell everybody about it. And you can pick out those 10 people. Now I put you in that room for two hours. And I said you can talk to five people. Who are you going to talk to? You know in advance that you could walk out of the room with customers. The second part is a method of contacting and communicating with other users on the network. In this case, we're talking about live chat or private messaging. Critical. And the third thing, which most of the social networks don't have, is a searching feature that enables you to filter through the entire population of users for prospecting and recruiting. Now, I'm going to show you why LinkedIn is now better than Facebook to build your business. It all revolves around the searching feature. With LinkedIn, you've got 500 million professions, professionals available to talk to you. They've got the best searching and filtering features of any social network and their live chat. That's it. So if you know who you're looking for, it's easy to locate perfect prospects for your business. Professionals, mortgage bankers, lawyers, sales reps, doctors, dentists, chiropractors, nurses, trainers, athletes, anybody that would be remotely interested in health and wellness. You've got realtors, business owners, fitness instructors, speakers, trainers, social media experts entrepreneurs, coaches, other networkers, affiliate internet marketers, take your pick. People want to work from home, customers, for whatever you're selling. It's almost like LinkedIn and Facebook are handing you Aladdin's lamp, okay? And all you got to do is rub it. I want to talk to chiropractors today. There they are. You can locate power prospects that fit the exact demographics of who you're looking for in any area you want to promote your business. And it only takes minutes a day. You can locate perfect prospects everywhere in the world. Longevity does business, and they'll break it out for you by country. How about the United States? How about Australia? How about Canada? You know, there's no, just take your pick. There's no shortage of places. You're only limited to where Longevity goes. And when Longevity opens up a new country, you can have some of the first distributors there. You can locate perfect prospects anywhere in the world. So why is LinkedIn now better than Facebook to build their business? Because you can't do this on Facebook. The keyword search is, is really what does it, okay? And the keyword search is going to be your favorite tool on any social network. But it's changing. It's changing. It's changing on Facebook. It's getting bad. Hopefully, it's going to get better. And on LinkedIn, it's fabulous. It's not as good as it used to be, but it's still fabulous. So when you're looking for somebody to talk to, remember, 
first and foremost, you're all connected to people already. And we're going to give you some simple strategies that you can use that will engage the people that you're already connected to. But for those of you who feel like, I don't want to talk to anybody that I'm connected to, okay? I, I really want to keep this away from my family and my friends. I want, to, I want to do this with all new people. This is what we're addressing here. So you do a keyword search on Facebook. People over 50 years old who like Jim Rohn, and you'll get search results. But the words have got to be in proper sequence, and the sequences change all the time. If you don't put the words in the right sequence, you get zero. So you can break it down. People who live in Las, Ve Las Vegas, do it by city. Behind every one of those pictures is a profile. Information that will clearly tell you whether that person on the other end is even interested in hearing from you. People live in Orlando. People live in Hong Kong. People live in England. Or we could break it down, we could say people live in London. Now, the reason that LinkedIn is getting everybody's attention is live chat. So let's look what live chat did for Facebook so you can grasp what's about to happen to LinkedIn. You know, back in 2007, it was about uh, three years after Facebook started, they started to get some traction. They went outside the university area and they started catching up to MySpace, which at the time was the social network. That was 2007 and LinkedIn was just starting to grow. A year later, 2008, Facebook was the rage. They opened it up to the general public and they just started to introduce a mobile feature. And in 2009, with that mobile feature and live chat, they exploded and uh, MySpace was gone in two years. So this is what happens. They doubled in size. LinkedIn, on the other hand, started in 2002. They went public in 2011 and I told everybody when they add live chat, buy stock. Live chat, that's what gets people on social networks. The ability for you to communicate with someone. You're sitting down, you're texting, they're texting back. LinkedIn tried integrating WeChat in 2014. It wasn't very successful, but there were enough people that wanted it that they, LinkedIn realized, hey, we gotta, we gotta figure this out. If Facebook can do it, we can do it. They must have a whole division someplace doing nothing but tearing apart. Look what Facebook's doing. So in September of 2015, they added live chat. In January of 2016, everybody was asking me, well, they did it. They added live chat. Should we buy stock? I said, wait, wait, let's see. March, I told everybody, buy stock. Three months later, they were bought by Microsoft. The stock went up. Uh, it was outrageous. I bought it for $96. It went up to $196 in, in one day. Everybody anticipated they were going to make improvements. And January this year, they started changing it. Now they got a whole new desktop design. So whether it's Facebook, whether it's LinkedIn, there are five kinds of Facebook and LinkedIn connections. They're the people that you're directly connected to. Those are your friends. On LinkedIn, they call them connections. The second level are the connections of connections or the friends of your friends. And then the third level are the connections of the connections on your second level. The other way you're connected to people is you join groups. And then there's everyone else. Now on LinkedIn, their business model enables you to easily connect with people on the first three levels for free. It promote, In other words, free profile, you can reach out to people on three levels. You want to go below the three levels, $24.99 up to $99.95. The best one is $47.99. I would try it for free for a month. And I want you to think about it. $47 to have access to 2 billion professionals. It's a bargain. But if you don't want to spring for the money, I'm going to show you how to do it for free. Think about it. You got 2 billion people on Facebook. You got half a million people on LinkedIn. You have a simple way to filter everything down. So connecting with perfect prospects is going to be as easy as reaching into a bowl of candy and pulling out a green M&M. And you can reach into that bowl as many times as you want. 
So let's talk about LinkedIn's new redesign. LinkedIn is encouraging connections between strangers like they've never done it before. Never. They're making it easier to talk to their connections with their live chat feature. So literally, you can be talking to people on a daily basis. Their live chat feature and all the other things that we're familiar with, the live news feed, just like Facebook, comments, likes, and shares, just like Facebook, power postings, just like Facebook, your ability to pick out perfect prospects or join a group just like Facebook. They recently added a new red receipts and typing indicators. In other words, now you can see what people do, you can see what people read what you wrote, and you can see when they're typing back to you, just like Facebook. So if we go to your LinkedIn home page, let me just kind of draw, to give you a map. That's where you search for people. You type it in, you type what you're looking for in there. This is your network. This is where you see who you're connected to and who wants to be connected to you. This is your messaging feature. Now notice it's up at the top and it's up at the bottom. This bottom messaging feature was introduced about 120 days ago and it's just like Facebook. This is where you get your notifications, just like Facebook has notifications, and this is where you set up your profile and you handle your setting. You wanna publish something, they call it writing an article. On Facebook, it's a post. Post a picture, the language is gonna change. What's interesting is you can adjust what you see. They timestamp everything just like Facebook. And something that Facebook doesn't do is they let you see who's looked at your profile. Interesting conversation starter. You can also see who's viewed your articles. Now, that's an interesting feature too. See, on Facebook, people have to like, comment, or share. They're going to show you who looked at it. Just like Facebook, you could like, comment, and share things. The big, the big thing is that messaging feature. Because you see when your friends are online, you can send them a message and they write back right away. You can see when they read something. I sent Deborah Kay a message with a little emoticon. Can you keep a secret? Sent it to her at 8.38. She wrote back at 8.39. You got a news feed that constantly lets you know what's happening on LinkedIn. I sound like a LinkedIn commercial tonight. Uh, but it's the messaging feature that enables you to communicate with people the same way you're doing it on Facebook, including the ability to put pictures up. When you're in your message area, you can see your messages, you can see who you want to talk to. They really have done a bang up job. Now, they are promoting and encouraging communication. Every time you log in, they're going to push people in front of you. They were really excited to announce 500 million users. Filling out a LinkedIn profile is a matter of filling in some boxes. They move you through it. They encourage you to do it. And they've got new software. They'll even write a summary describing who you are. You know, years ago, I used to tell people, don't take a selfie. You know, if this on LinkedIn, you, nobody used selfies. You're going to put a professional picture up there. It's a professional network. Well, not anymore. They've made it easy for you to take a selfie and turn it into a professional looking picture. The other limitation for LinkedIn, for those of you that were on it before, was you never knew by looking at a profile, because basically it was a repository for resumes, you never knew how active a person was. It was a, it was a, a shot in the dark that the person was gonna write back to you, not anymore. Now you can see when you're looking at someone's profile, you can see what you have in common with them before you ever reach out to them. You can see what they've done, their activity, and every time, this is a perk you don't get on Facebook, but every time you look at a person's profile, over on the right, you're going to see people that are similar to this person that other people have looked at. You can see their articles, their posts, all their activity, they give you every opportunity to start a conversation with anybody. Something that they recently added, birthdays. And for those of you that have LinkedIn, you want to check your settings because the birthdays are originally set to be visible to your network. You want to change those so that everybody can see it. 
and then everybody gets to wish you a happy birthday. Microsoft has radically changed many of LinkedIn's most popular searching features, the city and zip code. So we did a search here for people. We got 5,588,997 people to choose from. Whatever search you do, you can break it down by city, you can break it down by country. And the, the amazing thing is there's no shortage of people for you to talk to. So the first thing you do is you reach out and you can start with your friends, warm market contacts. You go out there, you find people who belong to the same clubs you belong to, uh, people in professions that are predisposed to buy your products, people in network marketing who live in your area, people in network marketing who live where you want to expand your business. You can search for entrepreneurs, business owners, coaches, trainers, there's a whole list. You can search for people that are in networking groups, social networking groups, health coach groups. Search for public figures and celebrities and then connect with the people who like and follow and communicate with them. The keyword search is going to be your favorite tool and it, your search results are amazing. We have a strategy for reaching out to millennials, people that just went to college and now they're alumni. So you look for example, Arizona State, 320,836 alumni. You can go on LinkedIn and you can filter them down. They break it down by country they're living in, where they're working, and what they do. Well, 27,995 are in sales. 24,000 are entrepreneurs. So you go in and you can filter that down Salespeople between, who went to college between 2011 and 2015, 6,500 of them. You go to college for four years, you're working at Starbucks. You're working at Nordstrom. There's no, there's never been an easier way to find perfect prospects and you have better information. You have as good information on LinkedIn. It's no longer the dull resume. Their new keyword search feature is outrageous. Now, just to show you how this, the numbers are changing. Every second, two people sign up on LinkedIn, every second. So I did a search on LinkedIn about two weeks ago. I did a search for sale, I got th for salespeople, I got 39,954. So I'm going to jump over here on LinkedIn and I'm going to do a search up here for sales. Oh, this is the Dallas Fort Worth area. Okay, 41 million in two weeks. The number has grown. 17,000 in the United States, almost 18,000. Every one of these numbers has grown. So there's no shortage of opportunities for you to search for people fitness. That was the search we did originally, 5,588,000. In the United States, in a city, 22,840 fitness people in Las Vegas. In the United Kingdom, 471,000. In London, 76,400. There's no shortage of opportunities for you to start a conversation and talk to these people. 9,059 people in Hong Kong. And LinkedIn's got a free feature. You save your search and every, every week, every two weeks, they will notify you of all of the new profiles that have come on that match your criteria doesn't get any easier than that. And of course, you can see when people read what you wrote and when they are answering you. LinkedIn, like Facebook, is a big ball of candy. It's a virtual gold mine that you could reach into as many times a day as you want. There's no, no shortage. No, I mean, five times a day, 10 times a day, 20 times a day, 30 times a day, take a break. No shortage. So as a note that, uh, you know, Dan, and I, like I said, Dan was really a pleasure, you know, to work with. He's, 
he is connecting with people. He, he, he was stunned at the, the, uh, the, the people he was able to connect with. Mark meets with somebody. They had coffee. Took him two days from the initial contact to the meeting. One year after Rosie Gonzalez came out of boot camp, she had 55,000 people in her business. Here's a woman. I have to tell you, share her story with you because you can all relate to this. Back in uh, 2014, she cornered me at a networking event and, and I, I became her coach. She, wanted, she hated her job. She was a scientist. She wanted to retire. Uh, her first month, she signed up 26 people. 26 people. I mean, she learned it. She got it. It's not just on Facebook. You meet people out there in the real world. You talk to them. Hey, are you on Facebook? Let's connect. She was so excited, she leaves for a 10-day vacation, goes down to Mexico with her husband, comes back, recruits the two stewardesses on the airplane, and then for five days, she go back on Facebook. She doesn't make a sale. She calls me up frantically. She says, Max, she says, I've lost it. I went in, we logged into her account. I looked at what she was doing. It was like she forgot everything we ever taught her. I pointed out all the things that she'd stopped doing. She calls me back two hours later. She says, I'm there. I got it. So stick to the script. That year, she doubled her income. Today, she's in the top 10 in her group. Now, Facebook and LinkedIn, everything that we're going to share with you, you can do on Facebook. You can do on LinkedIn. Job seekers, they're all over Facebook, but the recruiters prefer LinkedIn. Why? Because we don't have to deal with the nuts. We don't have to deal with the kids. Now, LinkedIn just chains or terms of service to copy more of what Facebook does, where they're basically saying, hey, you're not going to send messages to people you don't know. However, they encourage you to do it. It's kind of like a, uh, a contradiction. They want, but they've got this in there to punish the spammers. Notice number J, pyramid scheme. Well, you're not a pyramid, but there are a lot of people out there that are promoting them. You need to stand out from the crowd. This type of action, this type of behavior. This is why LinkedIn put on this little notice now. When you send somebody a message, they basically are going to say, well, initially it was interested, maybe later, or no thanks. Now it's thanks, not sure. This kind of activity where you just reach out and tell somebody, hey, I came across your profile, and look, I got something I want you to take a look at. This is not the way you do it. There is a very, very simple, easy way that is based on genuine, genuine mutual interest and, and genuine, sincere flattery that works like a charm. Now, for those of you that are already on Facebook and you're, you're posting and you're trying to get activity and you're trying to get action and it's not working for you, let me tell you why. They've got an algorithm. And that algorithm changes and reduces who sees your post. So we're going to give you five ways to beat Facebook's algorithm so that your posts are going to reach more prospects. So instead of 86%, you can reach 85% of the people that are going to see your post. Well, that brings up an interesting question. How many people actually do see it? 2012, it was 16%. 2014, it was 6.5%. 2016, it was 6%. It's going down. Why? The first reason involves a simple fact. More and more content is being created and shared every day. An average news feed could contain more than 1,500 posts when the, the user logs on, and this is too much information for one person. The second reason involves how Facebook's news feed works. Rather than showing people all possible content, the news feed is designed to show each person on Facebook the content that's most relevant to them. So, of the 1,500 plus stories a person might see whenever they log on to Facebook, the news feed displays approximately 300. To choose which stories to show, the news feed ranks each possible story from more to less important by looking at thousands of factors relative to each person. It goes back down to your Facebook DNA. There are ways around Facebook's algorithmic logic that network marketing professionals can implement to see a rise in the reach of their posts. The first one, this is the easy one. Make yourself more visible. Change the settings on your first book profile to public so more people see your post and they see you. Make sure all your posts are public. You may not be aware, but the default settings on your Facebook profile 
Our sections are only visible by your friends or possibly the friends of your friend. You want to set them to public. That's going to give you maximum visibility. The original default section for your settings and modules is friends and friends of friends. You go up to the top of your screen, look at that upside down triangle, click on that, go to settings and change everything from friends to public. Now, Facebook's always changing things and every time they make a big change, what they're going to do is they're going to reset your settings back to friends or friends of friends. You can also have your friends change their following settings. So when they look at you, if they go to the following banner, they change it from default to see first, your, yours will always come up. And by the same token, if you have a new prospect, you go up there, you do that so you can see their notifications first and you'll be able to use the fact that they just notified they did something as a conversation star. So this is what it looks like when you're looking at somebody's page, okay? Uh, you know, I'm gonna skip three, it's, it's, it, I'm gonna skip three and I'm gonna skip four because I really wanna get to, well, uh, well, I'm gonna skip three, but I wanna get to four and five. Target your post. The ability to target audiences based on location, interest, behavior, and demographics isn't limited to paid advertisements. You can target a specific audience through your regular posts in your daily searches. See, you don't need to be friends with people who are personal trainers to start a conversation or for them to see your post. The opportunities you have to engage personal trainers you don't know in great conversations that result in sales, unlimited. When you reach out to a personal trainer you don't know, they'll look at your profile and the post to see who you are before responding. So what you want to do is you want to treat every post as part of your attraction marketing strategy. Focus on quality rather than quantity to ensure they rank well within Facebook's algorithm. The more likes, comments, shares to your post, the higher the post rank will be. The higher the post rank, the more people are going to see it. But this is the big one. I call it the big boost post strategy. For the Facebook algorithm, put your post into the Facebook news feed. You need to get a specific number of comments in an hour, 10 or more, and they need to be four words long and tight. Now this will help more of your Facebook friends see whatever you're posting. No comments and very few of your friends will ever see your post. In fact, less than 6%. If your posts get 10 proper comments, 85% of the people you're connected to and their friends are going to see your post. So the big question is, well, how do I get 10 or more comments in an hour, four words long. Let's introduce you to the, what we call the, stra the, the boosting strategy. You get a group of friends who, you reach out to a group of friends, okay? And what you do is you tell somebody, I need a boost. So I just posted something, I need a boost. Remember, boost must be four words long and tight. So you get 10 of your friends to my comments to your post, 85% are going to see it. So you reach 85%, not 6%. Now, there are social networking laws, facts, and rules that break down who you want to talk to. Now, there are five reasons people create profiles in the first place. They're there for dates. They're there to connect with their friends. They're there for networking. They're there to maintain relationships or build new ones, and they're there to sell. So it's easy to identify who you want to talk to by the contents of their page and their daily activity. So as we scroll down a list of fitness instructors or personal trainers uh, or chiropractors, we can pick out the people by the contents of their page, the people that would be open and are interested in the business. Happy network marketers, people in other companies, customers, people who will buy your products, unhappy network marketers, and affiliate or internet marketers. They are as easy to spot as reaching into that ball of candy and pulling out a green m and Their vir Facebook and LinkedIn both are virtual gold mines of prospects that you could talk to anytime, anywhere. If you know in advance that someone's a perfect prospect for your products, you develop a relationship with them before you talk about your business, you're going to sell to more people. Connecting with the right people is as easy as picking a green m and from a ball of candy. You simply have to remember to treat other people like you would like to be treated. Now, 
there are also four types of profiles on every social network. Doesn't matter which one. You've got the eager socializers. These are the people that you want to reach out and talk to. These are this. You want to be an eager socializer. You want to fill in all the blanks, open everything up, have a follow me button, make your modules visible. People can like, comment, and share stuff. So open everything up. Eager socializers. The e-marketing socializers. This is the other group. Well, they're just trying to sell something. They're commercials for their business. And we developed a script called Recruiting the Recruiter to turn the tables. You can actually use this. You discover they're not making any money and you can bring them into your business. The reluctant socializer, these are the people, they don't want to know you. If you're not a family member, past or current friend or coworker, do not approach these people. They will uh, report you. And then you got the missing in action socializer. They just, they look like an eager socializer. Their profiles are great, but they haven't done anything in five years. I'm going to skip the, um, uh, the social networking laws. And, and what I want to do is I, I, and there are so many changes and examples we have of, of people that, that have done it, that are doing it. And uh, it really comes down to this, okay? Uh, it really comes down to this. It's not about how many friends or followers you have on Facebook. And it's not about how many friends or followers you have on LinkedIn. It's not about how many likes, shares, comments, or responses you get to whatever you're doing. It's about how many people you're talking to. It's about sales, duplication, growth. It's about retention. And I know we're all passionate about the product, but it doesn't hurt if we're making some money in the process. So it's about income. It's about results. Results, at the end of the day, are all that matter. So talking to people is going to be your most important activity, but you gotta be talking to the right people. And when we talk about working on social media, if you're not having the results you want, there are three reasons. They're easy to identify and they're simple to fix. It's either the contents of your page, the people you're contacting, or the way you talk to people. Now. I put together a, a special training for uh, uh, this group. And uh, yeah, I talked to Brenda about it. Um, uh, and, and I have to say that as a leader, uh, I, I, I uh, applaud her because this happens all the time. Someone in a leader's organization uh, has someone in their downline stumbles up, up you know, learns about me, goes to my boot camp, and what they do is they go, they go to their upline and say, hey, look at this. I mean, I can't believe, you know, what this guy is teaching, and, and I'm at, in a lot of companies, I'm their secret weapon. So, you know, uh, I've worked with people in your company and in different groups. Nobody talks about me because everybody seems to be afraid that you're going to run out of people, and that's really foolish because you're never going to run out of people, okay? You're never going to run out of people. But um, um, Dan uh, went to um, Brenda, and uh, you know, Brenda, you know, we talked. I showed her, and, and you know, there's a lot of leaders that would say, "Hey, you know, I got to, uh, I gotta, you know, try it. I gotta make sure it works." And uh, you know, and, and then there are leaders that, hey, you know, that don't want an advantage because if Brenda knows it before you know it, then she's got an, an, literally an unfair advantage over everybody else. And so she, she says, Max, how, can I, how soon can we get our team on this? And, and, and whenever I have that opportunity to work with a group of people like you, uh, you know, I wanted to put something together that would ensure that you all get trained properly, learn this process that will have a dramatic impact on your business. Now, um, uh, so what we've done is we put together this special package. I'm, we have my home study endless release course, which normally sells for $2.99. Uh, my boot camps, we're right in the middle of a boot camp. It's a two week program where I work with everybody. And then of course, in August, we have another boot camp. Now, if you were to literally jump in and pay retail, you'd spend over $1,000. I put together a program where you get endless release and participation in both boot camps <clears throat> for $159. 
And what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll, I'll put the link in the chat window here. Now, our boot camp is underway. It's already started. And uh, uh, so when you get in, we've got a fast start video that you can watch. And, uh, and then you can watch the first two sessions and you can jump in. I just sent the link in the little chat window. Um, Endless Free Leads is broken down to uh, it's everything you need to know about Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Create a page, connect with people, communicate with them, close them. And we have fast art videos for Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Profile guides to make sure you get everything set up correctly. We have your scripts book, a daily routine secrets to closing the sale, and four strategies that actually work. So you're getting all of this, plus you're getting two boot camps for 159. Let me look in the question box quickly and see. Uh, uh, okay. Um, okay, now um, Tom writes, what do you do if none of your friends on Facebook don't turn out to be good prospects? We're talking about new people, Tom. We're talking about new people. Forget about your friends. Every day, we're going to show you how to reach out and connect with people you don't know. You're going to be able to connect with people that you want to know. Uh, Clifton, great question. I'm a professional engineer and instructor in project management. My network has been built on this profile on LinkedIn. I don't want to use that profile for my business on the side. What do you do? Well, the truth is, Clifton, um, Nobody is going to know, using that profile, what business you're doing. You're not going to change your profile, okay? But you can use that profile to reach out to people that you would like to bring into the business. None of your existing contacts are ever going to know what you're doing. I mean, there are some people that, that they can't, you know, there, there are school teachers, there are people that work in particular companies, they cannot afford to have anybody know that they're a network marketer, okay? And, and so th that's perfectly in concert with everything that we're gonna teach you, okay? We might adjust a little bit of your profile. You might be making some different kinds of posts, but nothing that would raise a red flag with any of your friends. And uh, Tom wants to know, well, who do you target exactly? Well, we're all different, okay? It, we're, we're all different, and it really, a lot of it depends on your background. So let's say, for example, you're a school teacher. Or let's say that you're in sales. Uh, one of the audiences or one of the target markets that you would like probably want to go after are people in your field who are burned out. Now, uh, for your company, uh, Longevity, you have health and wellness products. So the types of people that you would want to connect with Okay, we'll go over here. And for example, you have a convention coming up. Um, now, chiropractors. You're looking for people that have a large circle of influence. So there are 57,843 chiropractors. Now, how about for your healthcare products, you've got uh, personal trainer. Let's say, for example, you're a school teacher. Personal trainers, 837,000 personal trainers everywhere. You got a convention coming up in Dallas? Hey, you go over here and you say, you know what? Show me all of the personal trainers in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Start making friends now. 13,000. We go up here and how about... I'm going to give you a list of 10 professions. High burnout. School teachers. In the Dallas area, you got 126,000. 
Worldwide on LinkedIn, almost 10 million. So there's no shortage of people that you can reach out and talk to. We're going to show you in boot camp uh, you're going to be able to stay on the leading edge. I put my pages together on Facebook and LinkedIn, but my names are not the same. Uh, Santos, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can keep it the same. You can keep it. You can keep it just the way you are. Uh -huh. Kathleen writes, believe it or not, I don't have a Facebook or LinkedIn account. Will this pro program teach me how to create these? I work for the government and this is discouraged, but I would like to create them anyway. Kathleen, I knew there were people like you on, on here. And the, the answer is absolutely yes. In, in, the, um, uh, in the profile, it will step you through everything. And, and the thing is, we'll show you how to do it. You know, there's nothing that you're going to put on your page in any way, shape, or form that anybody that works for, for you, around you, above you, would ever give you a hard time about. But I do believe it. I, you know, I, I absolutely believe it. And you're not the only person on here that's like that. The whole idea is you're promoting you. And, and you can do it in a very subtle, very reserved way. You see, what we're going to do, and let me tell you about boot camp, okay? We help you brand yourself. We answer all your questions. We'll help you connect with perfect prospects, help you talk to more people. We will be reviewing the conversations you're having with your prospect. These are all live. Help you overcome the obstacles that are slowing you down, remove any roadblocks that you have. So we've had our first two sessions. Create a page, connect with people. Now, tomorrow night it's communicate, then Thursday night how to close more sales. But this is the power of boot camp right here. This is the power because every day, nine o'clock in the morning, I do a live training. Every afternoon, I do a live training. You jump on here, you're in boot camp, we answer, we answer your questions. Every night, well, three out of five nights. Now, the question is, will we get access to some of this content after the material? Trevor, yes, we're recording the whole thing. All right. Now. Um, let me just run over to, okay, my video library. For boot camp, first of all and foremost, you're going to get endless free leads. And everything is broken down for you step by step, okay? Many of you, after you watch the first video, you'll start making sales. Then we break it down. Create a page, connect with people, communicate with them, close them. We've got uh, all kinds of resources here for you. Okay? But the best part of boot, boot, about boot camp, Kathleen, is that in addition to this, we're going to be available during these sessions to make sure that you get your questions answered. In some cases, we actually log into people's accounts and demonstrate. Can I change my personal Facebook page to accommodate this? Absolutely, Rhonda. You don't have to make many changes. Anybody else have any questions? Okay, L Lamar writes, if someone is involved in multiple professions unrelated to each other, do you recommend making different multiple profiles on LinkedIn? No, no, you're still the same person. Don't confuse your profile with, you know, like, a, like on Facebook they have you know, professional pages, they have, they have um, um, fan pages. You're one person, okay? You do different things. You do different things. And the, the power of what I'm going to teach you is that you don't have to sit back and wait for people to come to you. You can identify the people who clearly are open to connecting. We're going to show you how to strike up... Um, what if you're using Facebook and LinkedIn for multiple careers? Dan, same thing. Same thing. You're a person doing multiple things, but you're one person. Now, people have fan pages and they have different other pages, but you're going to find, it's like, look at it, it you're going to a party, okay? You're going to a party. There's two billion people there. You get dressed, you put on your best outfit, 
you go to the park. Now you want to mix and mingle. You want to talk to people. That's exactly what you do on a social network. People overcomplicate this. And the best part about it is we're going to show you, you don't sit back and wait for people to come to you. What you do is you can proactively go out, connect with people that clearly would be interested in what you're doing. You know in advance they'd be interested. But instead of hitting them with a commercial right away, what do we do? We're nice. We talk to them. We ask questions. You ask somebody what they do, they're going to come back and ask you what you do. The scripts will step you, step you through the entire thing. Anybody else have any questions? Now, here's what I'd like all of you to think about. I'd like you to think about where you would like to be in your business by Labor Day. Okay? Where would you like to be by Labor Day? Where are you going to be Labor Day? Where, in fact, where are you going to be in your business New Year's Eve? Is going to be determined by the number of people you talk to and who those people know. Now, you have unlimited access to people on Facebook. You have unlimited access to people on LinkedIn. There are people here. They want to talk to you. They are open to talking to you. They have created these profiles for a reason. They just don't know you. The whole process is fast. It is simple. And, and for people like you know Dan that you know is very, very professional, uh, it has, it's, it, it, it's addicting. Because you can scroll down that list. You could pick out the people that you would absolutely enjoy talking to. And again, I warn you that it can, it really can become addicting. <laughs> I told, I was working with the top earner in the company a couple of weeks ago, and, I, and we, we had three sessions, and I said, you know, I don't think I told you. It's right here, Terry, Terry Dirksen. I says, Terry, I don't think I told you that... Um, this can be addicting. She said, it's too late. <laughs> she said, it's too late. So I'm telling you here, listen, I look forward to working with this group. Uh, um, you know, Brenda, um, let me just, <clears throat> Brenda, I, I tried to mix it up a little bit. There was a lot more that I, I, I wanted to share, but I'll, I'll get you a copy of this. Uh, folks, mm -hmm. folks, they asked some great questions. And, you know, listen, I'm as committed to every, to, to this entire group. I really, you know, wherever you would like to be by, um, um, by Labor Day. We have the rest of, uh, we got half of this month, we got the full month of August, the sun, your business does not slow down, and what everybody's gonna learn is gonna set the stage, give them a foundation so that the fourth quarter of the year, uh, everybody is really, gonna, is really gonna grow. And when I teach people how to market and, and sell, I'm going to show you how to sell the more expensive package. Um, it's just as easy to get someone in your business uh, at at the at the high end as it is to get them. Yeah, level. To, yeah, exactly, exactly. So um, boot camp has already started. So as soon as uh, as soon as you get into boot camp, uh, you'll get a welcome letter. The boot camp sessions are over here, and. Uh, uh, You'll have, our first session was already recorded. So was our, uh, I guess I got to refresh this because the, the, the second session was already recorded too and I know it's up. It's just not coming up on my screen. So we, we, our goal is to help everybody make five sales before boot camp is over. So that means 10 people before, before the end of August. And uh, uh, show the link again. It is... Let me, here it is, maxdeingart.com forward slash longevity. Not very hard. In fact, check, Phil, check the chat window. I put it in there. I put it in there. Okay. And uh, listen, I look forward to working with everybody. And uh, Brenda, I, I look forward to our next, uh, our next coaching session. Uh, I'll, I'll get back to you. I think it's, I, I think it's tomorrow. Right, it is. And so uh, I look forward to talking to you. I hope you guys found some value in this. And I look forward to seeing uh, seeing what you can do with it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me as well. Well, you know, Brenda's going to be in boot camp, so uh, you guys can all work, kind of do it together. Especially, it's very helpful when it comes to these boosts. Yeah. Okay. 
I wanted to answer. I wanted to answer one last question. Dan wants to know: Would you suggest any use with Twitter? And I, I have to say that when you compare Facebook and LinkedIn to Twitter, I, I've always taught it because um, of the, the chat feature. And when I taught it, I always would say, if you're just getting started on Facebook and LinkedIn, focus on that. But I, I'm in the process of updating the Twitter information because I just figured out a way where even if you're brand new, even if you're brand new to Twitter, you can create a Twitter account and you can start talking to people. You can start communicating with people on Twitter right away. The thing about the Twitter people is that they're all selling stuff. And... They've got Twitter accounts, but they're also on Facebook and LinkedIn, which is the reason why Twitter has never gotten above 330, 340 million people. Facebook and LinkedIn added Twitter features. So the bottom line is, and I'm sorry we ran out of time, because there are things that you can be doing. Make a post, okay? Make a post. And post anything. And look to see who reacted to your post. I tell you what to do. Change your picture. Change your picture. And when, just change your picture. And when you change your picture, people are going to react, people are going to respond. When they react and respond, you write back and say, hey, appreciate, appreciate your, your, uh, you know, your comment, if it was positive. And then ask them a question. Start a conversation. It's one of the four things we're going to teach everybody in boot camp to get everybody going. So I uh, hope to see as many of you in boot camp as possible. I also do, just go to my web, regular website, maxsteingart.com. You can check out um, you know, some of the other programs we offer and my YouTube channel is youtube.com forward slash free leads. You can feel free to go over there. We post all kinds of trainings. Uh, at some point we'll probably end up putting this up there too for everybody, but I'm going to send a copy to, to Brenda and, uh, until next time, you know, best luck in building your business folks. All you need is a Facebook page. All you need is a LinkedIn page. I don't care if you're just getting started. Um, Kathleen, we got you covered. You're all going to have fun with this. And so until next time, I hope to see all of you in boot camp. Uh, good night and, uh, and God bless.